Hi children, let us now try to understand what are ordinal numbers. When we go up on the stage, there is a competition and the teacher gives you a number. You will go first, you will go second, you will go last and they give you a number. Okay? So we are talking about ordinal numbers. Then you have a big fight between your friends and say, I am the third. I, I have to go on the stage, third place. I have to go fifth. So first person who will enter the stage, the second person will follow and the third person that will enter the stage and the fourth and fifth and say seven, eight, nine, ten and go on. So, competition time, there's a big hassle. Who's going first on the stage? Similarly, in the class, after having written the test, the teacher announces, first person in the class who scored the highest, or the last person, or the eleventh person. Then, they give you report cards. The teacher gives report card and say, you are placed, Seventh in the class, there are 32 children and you are seventh place. That means your total of marks or you are placed first in the class. So, ordinal numbers are very important when it comes to categorizing where you come, how best you are, how good you are. If you take your heights, you will say, I'm the first, I'm the tallest. You know, they take height, weight and all, isn't it? Or if you're running a race, you came and say, I came, I was placed fifth. I did not get the first place, but I was placed fifth. And go, so on. So we are going to now understand what are ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. Understanding of ordinal numbers. Now, I am going to draw some figures for you. Imagine yourself standing on the stage. Okay? So, I am going to draw you now. Let's say, here is a little boy. Can you have her? Okay, then I will draw a little girl here. There's another little girl standing.
Okay, now we have here. I'm going to number them all. Just some figures. Some girls and boys are standing in a line, ready for the competition. And here's the first boy. And here's the second girl. And here is a third girl. And it's the fourth boy. And there's the fifth boy. And there's the sixth girl. The seventh girl. Eighth boy. Ninth boy. And tenth girl. All standing in a line, waiting to be called out for the competition. Now, we said we are talking about ordinal numbers. Ordinals. That means order. First, second, third, fourth. Now, we need to learn the spelling of these ordinal numbers. Now, what is this first? First, how do you spell first? F I R S T. First. Second, how do you spell second? S E C O N D. Second, how do you spell third? T H I R D. Third. Next, fourth, how do you spell fourth? F. So the first is this, and the second is this. Second spelling, second, and then you have the third. Next, you have the fourth. Okay, you're going to spell fourth. How do you spell fourth? F O U R T H, fourth. Okay, fine. Next, how do you spell fifth? How do you spell fifth? F F I F T H. Fifth. How do you spell sixth? S I X T. All these spellings we need to do. Next. Seventh. S E V E N T H. Seventh. And what about the eighth? Eighth spelling. E I G H T H nine N I N E T H and finally you have the tenth T E N T H tenth. Now why we need to know is now I've done first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, when you say first, okay, 1, the first person standing there, that boy, what we say is the first person. So, we write it as first. Now, for the first, there is a short form. You do not write all the time, oh, this boy is first. And for the first, we have the short form as ST. First we say. Then when we say second, when we say second, second, first, second. When we say second, we write the short form as ND. So you write first like this and second, you write ND. Second and third, T H I R D. Third, and for the third, you write the short form of third is R D. So you see, S S T N D R D. Now we go write the fourth. How do you write the fourth? F O U R T H fourth, and then you write the fourth as T H fourth place. Okay, next fifth place F I F T H fifth. Again, you write the short form as T H fifth place. You get that? Next. 
sixth place. Six. S I X T H. Sixth. How will you write six? The T H. Then the seventh. S E V E N T H. Seventh. Again, you write T. Seventh. Okay. Then what about the eighth? E I G H T H eight and you write eight as th eight th and you have the ninth N I N E T H ninth and you have the nine here and you write th nine and finally the tenth. Tenth, you are the tenth child. Tenth. You see, this is the short form of writing. Tenth. Okay. Now, now let's look at carefully the pictures that I have done for you. You're standing on the stage. I said, first place. The first child is a boy. He will go on the stage to do his singing. Okay, he's going to have a singing competition. The second will be the second will be a little girl who will go up on the stage to sing, and the third will be a little girl who will go up after the second, and then you have a boy who will go fourth, and then there is a boy again who will go fifth after that, and then after the fifth boy there is a little girl who will go sixth to the stage. And then you have seventh again, a little girl going up on the stage to sing. Then you have eighth, you have a little boy, and the ninth, you have a little boy, and finally you have the tenth girl. Now, what we are talking is ordinal numbers. You are standing in order. Who is first? Yeah, the little boy is first. Who is the seventh? The seventh one is the little girl. Who is the third? The third one is a little girl again. And who is the tenth? The tenth is the little girl. And who is going to go fifth onto the stage? The fifth is the little boy. So the placement, how you arrange, or let us say there are ten children taking part in the competition. They all finish singing. Now who came first? It is the first. The first person is. Who went to sing is the little boy, but he was placed in the singing the seventh. Who won the first place among the ten? The little girl who was placed seventh, she won the first place. You get that? Now, in the class, let's talk about the classroom. You have thirty children. You wrote your test, English, math, science. And teacher gave you a lot of mark and put them all together in a report card. And teacher calls out, "Arun, come here. You are placed first in the class." So we are talking about ordinal number order. In what order are you standing for the competition? Now, learning the spelling. This spelling is to be learned first, second, third. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Now beyond this, you have eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, and go on and on and on. So we are talking about trying to understand ordinal, the placement. How are you placed? How are you arranged to stand? We spoke about. Ordinal numbers, position. Where are you placed? First, second, third, fourth. Now we learn to understand. Now we'll apply that in an exercise. Circle the. Now we are going to circle according to what I am going to draw for you. You, I will circle the maybe the third girl or the third boy or the fifth. Or the seventh house, whatever. So we will do an exercise to recall to our mind understanding ordinals. 
the positions of the things that I will draw for you. Circle. Now, I'll write here, say, let's say, third. Say, third. Third what? I'm going to draw things for you. Say, let's say, the third flower. Okay? Right? You're going to circle the third flower. Next. Here. Fifth, third, fifth, you're going to circle the fifth mouse, okay, fifth, All right, next we will say the second, the second, the second, let's say the apple, second apple. You're going to circle the second apple. Next, seventh. You're going to circle the seventh star. All right, then. You're going to circle the fourth fourth tree, right? Then, finally, you're going to circle the sixth the sixth girl, okay? Okay, here we have, I've done some diagrams for you. And now what we are going to look at is third, third flower. We are going to circle the third flower, the fifth mouse, the second apple, the seventh star, the fourth tree and the sixth girl. Okay, now we are going to circle them all. Let's see. First, look at the first row, third flower, first, second, 
third. What are we going to do? Circle the third flower. Understood? Spell third. T H I R D. Short form of third. R D. Third. Now, fifth. You're going to circle the fifth mouse. Let's count. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. This is the fifth mouse, and we're going to circle the fifth mouse. Fifth spelling F I F T H. The short form of fifth is five and T H. Next, circle the second apple. First, second. This is the second apple. How do you spell second? S E C O N D. Second. Seventh. You're going to circle the seventh star. Seventh spelling S C V N T H. How do you write the short form? Seven and T H. Count. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and this is the seventh star. We circle the seventh star. Circle the Fourth tree, fourth short form, T H four and T H spell F O U R T H fourth. Now look at the fourth tree to circle. First, second, third, fourth, and this is the fourth tree, and you circle the fourth tree. And finally, you have circled the sixth, the sixth girl. Six short form. How do you write? Six. S i x t h. Six. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And here, this is the sixth girl. Circle. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And we circle the sixth girl. All right. We circle the sixth girl. So what have we done now? We learned to circle ordinals according to what is given. The third flower, the fifth mouse, the second apple, the seventh star, the fourth tree, and the sixth girl. Placement. How are or where are you placed in the line? Ordinal numbers. First, second. Third. Similarly, we'll have the eleventh, twenty-first, thirty-three, third, hundred, wherever, whatever you are placed in line of ordinal numbers. Where are you coming? Afterward, 